It's like you wish you could communicate this to somebody so clearly, right? And they'd be like, I cool, I'm with it. Yeah. Without having to go through the the many like conversations of like I'm not, I'm not gonna lie, but you know what's funny <clears throat> about that though? Um I feel like I'm I'm more prone to this now because of uh like this unescapable do you get like an unescapable brand for you? Yeah. What what is it? Like geeky, nerdy. You're geeky. Like no like for, just by looking at you like, oh I can tell you're a geek, I can tell you're a nerd. That's what I mean. I feel like for a long time for nah, me nah, nah, it's been oh you're a fuckboy or like really? you're a player. Oh, nigga, that shit will never escape me, bro. Like, that shit has been for me since I was, like, like, like middle school. Nigga. Oh, you know what I would say for me is, um, you, you think you're all that. Mm-hmm. All the time. People are like, yo, you swear. And I'm like, what, when? How, you really know me? Yeah. You know, I'm over here like, I don't, I'm the biggest idiot in the world. Like, yeah. But people always tell me, like, yo, I used to think you, you should think you were all that. And I was like, Huh? I mean, I used to think that you were all that. No, no. Like, people used to hit me up with, like, oh, my opinion of you, Chris, was that you, you, you saw you, you saw you were it. Yeah. And all the time. I've heard that all the time. Now I think about it. But after they got to know you. No, no, before. And then I'm like, like just, oh, just yes. you you for, the, like, the way I walk, the way I am, how loud I am. Yeah. It's like, oh, it's because I think I'm the center of attention. I think I'm the yeah. world that rolls around me. No, I get you. And then I'm like, um, I guess, cool. But you, didn't, you never cared about it? Like, like oh, I, I kind of escaped this. No, know? no, you know what I cared about? Not that it hit my gut one time. Like, it really hurt my feelings. Mm-hmm. Was when I found out I wasn't likable. Mm-hmm. I, 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 I know, I told you this. I, I used to think I was, like, the most likable person ever. Yeah. Because I, I my, like, you know, one thing that if you know me is, I, anybody who's around me and whatever setting we're in, I want to make you feel welcome, mm-hmm. right? And so, like you know, I'll be like, "Oh yeah, come here, we're gonna go eat," or "Yeah, we do this, whatever." You know, I try to involve everybody. If you're there with me, then you were yeah, part of it, yeah, yeah, gotcha. right? And so, it was thought that because of that, because of the way I am, or like I, I make fun of everybody and whatever, and I bother everybody. Mm-hmm. I thought I was likable. Yeah, it wasn't until I'm like, you no, know, people closest to me, like you know, Fatima and Joey were like, "Yo, yeah, you're not that likable. Bro. Like people find you annoying." They're like. You know, I, I thought it was obnoxious, but you know what? You know, there's that obnoxious that you can you like, like you like, ah, oh, yeah, that's how Chris is, whatever. And I was like, no, no, nobody likes you, Chris. And I was like, oh. <laughs> I never found you obnoxious. Yeah, but that's because we grew up together. I think it's different. It is, but I asked, for example, Gabby. No, she, she shares a bunch of people that. I like, asked a that bunch just of people, me. like because he didn't believe me at first. He was like, nah, bro, you guys are just saying I'm like, I'm being so serious. So we asked a bunch of people, like from, they're like, yeah, you were annoying, like. That we didn't like you. But that's the thing though, like, you know, it's not that I've changed anything I do towards them. It's just it's, that they get used to They get to like, used to, oh, oh this is how Chris is. is. Yeah. It's like, oh. Which is funny because, you know, I don't. I never thought I came off as like obnoxious, arrogant dude. Yeah. yeah. I never thought I came off like that. Yeah. I mean, I guess, I guess, okay, so in your situation, I guess it's the same way. So I guess like, to, to like try to compare it, for me, I always got the, um, the old year play, yeah, yeah, yeah. girls. So now you never never yeah, did. Yeah. But I never, you know, I never was that person. I was a real square, like a real <laughs> geek. Yeah, I was a real like yo. I'm and about just one person. If I'm gonna be one person, yeah, like I was really that guy. So I always got the the oh you're a you're a player thing, right? So now it's like, it's, I guess I guess I pro- I've never really said this, but I guess it always is now it's like. I mean, you're gonna look at even you're gonna look at me like this. I might as well just be like this. And, you you kind of like embrace it. In a way, I think so because it's almost like, like I can't like the truth is um. But is that like embracing it, like I'm sorry to cut you off. No, is there is there embracing it like okay this is who I am now or is that embracing it like uh, I don't care you guys see me like this anyway so whatever. No yeah that, that doesn't get it yeah it's more like this is who I've I've turned into now and because I've heard it so much it's like because in reality I've I've learned something girls don't believe you for from for first place right like at least at least from for me like oh I could tell your players like. No, yeah. or oh, I can tell you, build a bunch of girls. Uh, no, like you know, like whatever. It doesn't matter what you say. They just be like, nah, you're just lying, whatever, right? So I guess like in this change or in this transition for me, it's been more of like an embrace, like. But I feel like there's part of me that I could probably say like, yeah, but it's probably due to some of the like the the the, the, the pointing fingers type shit. You know I me, mean? but not so much because it's not like, oh my god, everybody thinks I'm this person, so. Fuck, I might as well be this person. It's never like that. It's just, I guess, like, in the transformation, I've been realizing it more. Like, oh, you have this perception of you. For whatever reason, like, and I've always gotten this everywhere I go. Even, like, I remember when I did, um, when I was doing my internship and stuff like that for that program, people would tell me that, like, oh, like, you're, you think you're a pretty boy. You think you're this. And it's like, why? Why? Like, it's like, oh, because you're always clean. You got a haircut. And 
you're groomed and you're always well dressed. It's like. But I think you're a pretty boy. I have to disagree. You don't think you're a pretty boy? I think you're a pretty boy. What does that mean? Like that. Pretty boy is a. I think I see you as a pretty boy. No. Because of how you're kept. I don't. No. Look at this. Look, it came no, from jail. You're head of a pretty boy. <laughs> this is jail. You're not even You're the freshest this jail you've ever been to. Boy. This is a pretty boy. To me, a pretty boy is a boy who keeps up with his haircut. Hygiene. Hygiene is very big on a pretty boy. His brands. Um, his brands, the way he dresses. It doesn't specifically the have fit. to be. The fit. Exactly, the fit. It doesn't specifically have to be like, oh, preppy. Because you are automatically think that a preppy boy is a pretty boy. It I always see like that. But it doesn't yeah. specifically mean that, like, that your style. It, you it's know, one of the, That you're very well kept. You know, one of the things that to me is like yeah. a major pretty boy? If you do your eyebrows. Mm -hmm. If you do your, I don't care what haircut you got. If you do your eyebrows, you're a pretty boy. Eddie's a pretty boy. Yeah. For, but, but, Eddie has a haircut. Not, but Lewis is a pretty haircut. boy. Yeah, he has a haircut too. You're a pretty boy. I have a buzz cut. But you have a beard and you have a like a well groomed beard, not like a like a oh I have a beard, no like a super tight. I brush my beard seven three seven hundred times the specific direction. And girls, <laughs> girls love pretty boys. You're, you're no, a pretty boy. You know what? I, actually, I don't. I kind of. I kind of agree and disagree with what you just said. I think girls love the, the idea, idea of a pretty boy. Of a pretty boy. <laughs> but they want to do this dirt. Yeah, but until you get, I feel like, you know, until you get the pretty boy, like you actually get the pretty boy and the pretty boy is like a jerk and shit, like you kind of start to realize. It's going to realize, like, for me. you know what happens? Like, you want the pretty boy, but then you realize the pretty boy has been around because yeah. he gets everything he wants. Right, right. I think it goes the same thing for, for a guy. The fine girl, yeah. yeah like, you, you want know. the fine girl also. Like, you remember that, that moment in uh, Meet the Spartans? Mm -hmm. Where yeah. he, he starts pulling down the, the names? Oh, and she has. Oh, she has like the Lakers yeah. and like Shad. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Like, oh. that, that's what happens. To it. It's like, you yeah. thought you wanted her, but then you realize, like, you know. You get all this. Uh, you get everything else yeah. that was included. Yeah, because, man. So it's, it's, well, my bad, I cut you off. But yeah, in a yeah. way, it's, it's, um,. Yeah, like to go back to the pretty boy thing. Yeah, I guess. But for me, I always saw a pretty boy as this like, as this specific like person. Like who? Like, for me, a, there's a pretty boy. You gotta be like tall, a tall guy who's fit, dresses well, has that like freaking hair. Like his hair. To me, it's always about hair. Like, I feel like you get a bus cut. You can be a pretty boy with a bus cut too. Like don't get me wrong, you can. I just don't feel like I fit the mold, but whatever. You know, your whole hair is all kept up. And like she's like your hygiene is all kept. That's what I find as a pretty boy. So like I can't see like a short guy, like a short like little guy as a as a pretty boy. Like, no, no, I've seen guys. That's so stupid. It is, but that I, I think that that's the mold of. It's like think about it like this. Like what's the mold of a model, right? Oh, like, tall, slim, tall, tall slim. So you got something like that. Like yeah. your, your prototypical model is is like the yeah. pretty boy. Bye. Type thing, yeah. That's why I don't know that. Though. That's why I've always seen it. So I mean, like, like a bodybuilder. I can't see a bodybuilder no, as a pretty I boy. Can't like you're big as fuck. You're a monster. But I then I get, yeah, I understand. But then I guess because also the fit is different. Like you know, pretty boys like for the most part they're athletic built, but they're not like super big, right? Yeah, they're they're just, athletic. They're athletic because you know they wear the little polos or they wear yeah, the little yeah, short yeah. shorts and they're both top siders mm -hmm. stuff like that. Like yeah. you know, they have the nice hair. Uh, they wear like those wafers, like that's how you part of typical. Like your phone, a lot of role model. Is what yeah. you're enough. Yeah, when I, when I think of pretty boy, I don't think of hood people as pretty boys. No, I don't think so either. Yeah, I think I'm a hood person. I don't think. Not like I'm hood, like and I'm out no, here in the streets, yeah, but yeah. just you know, like as far as like. Nah, but I, I, I think normal. there's the certain like for example when you suit up, pretty boy, hella pretty boy, cause you're fit, cause like, you're fit. Boy, yeah, yeah, but I mean, you know the the thing about like when you dress up, period. Like when it's not like like when it's not your streetwear. You dress like a pretty boy. Like you cuff your pants, you cuff your jeans, right? Mm -hmm. You know, you may have some like streetwear tendencies because your sneakers are always like yeah. a little more flamboyant, mm -hmm. right? But overall, the fit in the shirt is tailor made for the most part. Like that kind of fit. Like yeah, that. when it comes to suits and stuff. No, no, but not even in t shirts and stuff. I'm, I'm, when you're not, except for your streetwear, when you find out like all full on streetwear. Yeah. But even then, like, you know, like Patagonia, but like, that's not a streetwear brand. No, it's not. You know, it's like a camping. Yeah, camping, you know, like white people brand. Yeah, like, it is, it is. So stuff like that, like, you know, even your t-shirt vibe fits for the most part. Fit mm -hmm. your pants like really well fit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I would say you have the pretty boy. Well, so I mean, uh, well, one thing I can say that this is the thing. I mean, at least I can't I can't disagree because that's how the world sees me, anyways. You yeah. get me? Like real talk. At least yeah. from from where, I, where I've spoken to people, is always that um that look. You get mm -hmm. that look. You get me? Like that. Oh no, nah, like you're a pretty boy. I feel like once you get the pretty boy, I, I think you know we talk about this too, like in 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 our city, like just in Miami. I feel like you're a pretty boy. You automatically a fuckboy. 
You think so? Yeah. You think so? Yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, you automatically get yeah, that. Nah, nah, no that I, I, would, I would understand why girls look at you and say, nah, but this is the good as every girl he wants. I, I, could, I completely understand that. Yeah. Why? Because, like, yeah, it's, it's part, of, part, part of the look. Well, then again, th- yeah, let's not talk about not the fact that I know that you get a girl's you want. Not even the look. You guys are so simple-minded. Wow. It's not Ooh. even the look, bro. It's just, like, the way that you guys act or the way that Who's your you guys? character... Who's you guys? You're boy too. What? Yeah, no, like, I'm not. Definitely so, like, not. Yes, hell yeah, you are. The way that your character is, you guys demand things because you guys are used to getting it your way. That's an F word. Like, you guys are like, oh, like, you guys talk like you're already going to get it. And that, I'm not only talking about girls. Like, everything in life. You guys are like, yeah, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. Or, oh, hey, can you do that for me? Yo, can you get that? You guys are just very demanding. So, already your character shows like, oh, this guy's an F boy because you're used to getting everything. Because he swears that he got it like Exactly. That. Everywhere you go, you, you, it's not only looks. It's just, sometimes you're like a vibe. You exactly. You don't even have to. Exactly. Or you don't even have to be speaking about girls. It's just you speak about your job or something. It's like you're already saying a lot about yourself. And the even, way you walk. The exactly. Way you walk. It's not the way you look. And the you guys are very simple minded. The conversation. Okay, like, I, can, I hear you guys. I can see that. I can see that. Well, yeah, but then again, we are guys. Guys yeah, are yeah, simple-minded. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah That's why we do appreciate the different perspectives. It's very understand. sad. Like, I hear you guys, I'm like, wow. <laughs> why is it very sad? So sad. Well, not even think about it. All we can really do is talk on what we think, what we think and what, how, what we know. We can't, and I you know, can't see myself. And you know, us girls laugh things. because we know how you guys think. Like, we, girls. For the most part, yeah. Yeah, we do. Like, and it's yeah. like. Dude, guys are stupid. Yeah, yeah. Like, you guys, yeah, sure. like, you, like, oh, a girl, and that's why it's so, like, energy sucking to get mad at a guy because 99% of the time they don't know what they did. Mm-hmm. And yeah, it's true. When a guy says that they don't, what did I do? They literally mean that. And know. it's like, the girl obviously pays attention to more details. And she just says an insult, like, what do you mean you don't exactly. know? It's like, I don't. So now it's like, dude, don't even get mad. Like, they're just stupid. Yeah. It really is true. That that's simple. I, uh, the, for uh, most guys, they have the thing they like, the thing they don't like, and that's it. Yeah. No, girls is. Girls have yeah. everything. Like girls have more gray than they do black and white. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. For sure. So, yeah, it's funny hearing you guys. I think you know, I have I have guy friends, and I they think I'm a guy, and then I partially think it's because I've been hanging out with you two a lot and it's like no I just hear a lot of stupidity so I yeah but the reality is that that's the one thing the thing that she said the most important thing is girls assume yeah. a guy is lying no most of the guys when no. they say they don't know yeah. they don't know we really don't yeah because we're not on like and when a guy tells you hey I want true. this that's exactly what he wants most of the time or he said, I don't want that. Like, they, like you know what, girls, girls, a lot of shady stuff. Like, like they'll subtweet you and they'll, like, you know, they'll give you, like, passive aggressive comments. Yeah. You know, with guys, it's kind of just like, what? Yeah. yeah we don't do that shit. <laughs> yeah, you know, like, no. Yesterday, I tweeted out. Yeah. <laughs> I tweeted out yesterday. I didn't even know I got a call, like, last night. Oh, what do you mean? What are you talking about? Oh, you added me or something. What are you talking about? It's a very know. clear tweet, even, though. Yeah, I didn't even know what you were even like. I really didn't. You know, I forgot that I said that. I had to go on my Twitter and check on what I said. <laughs> like, we were talking to so I was like, oh, yeah, that makes perfect sense. <laughs> that makes perfect sense. <laughs> yeah, but it's, 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 it's so true what you're saying. Like, guys are, we are more direct. Though. We yeah. are. We're direct. Because, you know, you know the guy cares about the what. The girl cares about the why. Why do we feel like yeah. this? Why did yeah. you say this? Why are you saying it like you like girls you know, are very I, intentional? Yeah, I got I guys are very like, aware of details. No, no, but that's not, that don't make it sound like girls are amazing. No. Then, girls sometimes are over- overcomplicate I'm not saying that this is amazing. This yeah. is I to me that's a bad thing because because girls are like that, I feel like they are never fully happy because they look at every little detail. That's a good yeah. one. Yeah, it's true. Okay, y'all yeah, do like even when it comes down to like compliments and shit. Like y'all, yeah, y'all yeah, be calling. I mean, I, I know some guys like you like feet and shit. I, I think that's. I don't like feet. Like, I hate that. And what is it like? Your fingernails painted or something? Well, like I like the girls like upkeep, but yeah. the reason I look at fingernails is because if you keep your fingernails clean, for the most well, clean part, is one thing. No, for no, the color. No, no, I want it clean. Yeah. Uh, right. You know, there's like for example, I don't like certain like you know, when a girl wears like red. Mm-hmm. It's a no. When you wear black, you wear any of those weird colors. Like for me, every girl should always have a French. Yeah, I don't know what that is. Exactly. 
Every girl should always have a friend. That is the standard it's for life. When it's um clear with white. Yeah, it has a clear coating with the mm. like the white line in the front. And that and so I like the reason I look at toenails the most is because most girls will keep their hands because they're visible. Yeah. But they won't keep their toenails all the time because they wear shoes covered anyways. Yeah. So when I see your toenails are not kept all the time, that shows to me that you're not actually all the you only show you only really care about the parts people can see. Mm. And the parts people cannot see the parts that matter. The true virtue. That was that deep. Why you like you crying? I yawn. Oh. <laughs> 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 so, yeah, man. It, but I, I feel like girls, when you compliment each other, it's about details, you know. Like yeah. your eyeliner. Like I don't, I don't find too many you guys know, complimenting you, girls on their oh makeup. My, no, no. First of all, you could even if you were to be like, your makeup look nice. Right. She's gonna say, yo, the undertoning of your mascara is amazing. Yeah, some shit. But, like, what does that even? I guess it's because y'all know that shit yeah. too. At the same time, so I it's guess like, yo, you, it's know. like, yo, your baking is and a fire. And usually, what girls find most trouble doing in their face, they go, like, for example, me, like. I suck at doing eyeliner, but if I see another girl with her eyeliner, I'm like, damn, like, she killed it because I have trouble, like, doing mm -hmm. it. Or, like, areas that you do in your face that you try to perfection or have flawless, you pay attention to that in another girl, and it's like, oh, they master yeah. it. Yeah. Oh, okay. I guess that makes sense. Okay. Yeah, I, I guess it's just different, man. I don't know. I guess, like, this whole perception of, um, of being something... It kind of comes down easy when you are that something. When you don't care about nothing, like, beyond the look. When you, know you I mean? when you embrace that identity. Yeah, because, like, look, think about this. This I'm looking at it, like, at, at least in more recent times. It's like, okay, like, I know I'm not going to be taken serious, period, right? Because I'm just not a serious person, period. So, so I, so for me, it's always like, might as well embrace the whole fuckboy thing, right? But as far as what that means like i've been thinking about that lately like what does that mean you know it's funny in Sh i think it's chicago a fuck boy is is somebody who who like who's like a fucked up person not necessarily like because you get girls and like that. that's not what that means so it's not a compliment no like a fuck boy is like you know like not like a snitch or nothing like that but it's like you know you did something messed up like oh you're a fuck nigga. yeah yeah, like, you oh, messed you're up. Fuck. yeah, yeah, yeah. like so i guess the question let's ask a girl what's a fuck boy a guy who's screwed up all around. Who screwed up all around? Yeah, wow. just screwed up. Yeah. What does that mean? Screwed up. Like, like he's been through some shit. Like his parents died in front of him. All right, Batman. No, 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 <laughs> like, no. no. Like, that that's mean? screwed up in that sense. Like, screwed up probably like in the way they treat people. People. So yeah. not girls even. It, it, it's a, so you don't think a fuckboy has anything to do with girls. It has to do with just in general. But it has to do with fit too. Because there's certain wear that you're not going to There's sometimes that it does have to do with a girl. Cause so you don't think it always has to do with a girl? I think no. a fuckboy is always just... I don't hear a guy ever call another guy, oh, you're a fuckboy. Like, that's a girl no, shit. No, no, no. Yeah. Yeah, I've heard of other guys calling another oh, no, that's a nigga. Like, yeah, but, but because, you know... But for he, some beef shit or it, some girl shit? No, like because you do some beef, like yeah, when you do shit. something like shady or you're being fake, you're considered a as nigga, like yeah. But you use it in like the context of like yo, that's some green duck. Yeah. Dude. You don't mean you don't mean in the context of like yo, that's some dude getting out of play. Like it's not the same idea for the. Because for me, my idea of what is and it depends on the be, context yeah, you say it. Yeah, like yeah. if it's a girl, like let's say a guy walks in and then I'm with a girl. Oh, that's a nigga. They mean it like as in. Oh, he he just he don't want nothing serious. He's just gonna you know get in your pants. So so, so that's what I'm saying. So let me ask you a question though. You you agree with that? Well, then that's a fuckboy. Like somebody who's just not trying to get. Serious. I, I I would say like I guess yeah. that the idea would be uh somebody who's just not looking for anything committed. Like yeah. Serious. Or or a guy who isn't looking for anything but but claims that he is and he plays games with you. And he keeps leading you on, like, if there's potentially going to be something there, but... That, that, if, yeah. that, that's what I wanted to get to. I want to get to that. Like, I think I think that's what makes, like, I guess, like, the, at least for me, like, from because that Because if that you're standpoint. honest, he told you from the start. But you still, you still, you still have that same brand. Though. Yeah. Like, be honest. Yeah. That's, that's what I'm saying. So They're going to be like, oh, that boy's a savage. That boy's an F boy or whatever, you know? Right, right. Well, you know, but that that's the thing. I guess, like, um, that's kind of what's what makes... What makes guys real fuckboys? Think about it. If we live in a world where we can be honest, right, uh, without getting like repercussions, judgments, or getting yeah these things, I think we'll flow a lot easier. Like with girls, guys well, will flow a lot easier with girls. I, I, but is that come on, man? Most people can't the truth. Well, this is the thing. 
I think that that's a mistake that we make because we think that most people can handle. Yeah, most people can handle. No. Like uh, the. I have to disagree with that. The majority of you of people around your your circle, right, your life. Uh -huh. Can they act rationally on truth they don't like? Um. Well, I think I think I think it, it matters to what to what degree. What do you mean? Because most people, when there's the truth they don't like, the first reaction is an emotional one, not a rational one. But what do you mean by truth? No, because this, this is what I'm trying to get at. Okay, let's say you're a guy, right, mm -hmm. who knows he doesn't want nothing serious, right? So, as a guy who doesn't want nothing serious, but he wants to be around women, mm -hmm. right? What, and he knows that for the most part, if he tries to be honest with women about his intentions, they're probably going to be like, nah, right? Because of how straight up yeah. yeah. The only rational thing for that guy to do in his own selfish pride is to go ahead and tell you, you know... What you want to hear. Yeah, exactly. You know, romanticize something. And he might never have said, oh, you want a relationship or nothing. You get me? He might have just romanticized it or whatever. And that's how he has girls around. You get me? And he does what he has to do, and that's it. And if the girls get caught up, they get caught up. But nothing was ever specifically said. You get me? Now, if you do say specifically, oh, look, I only want this, the girls probably going to be like, nah, I'm good. Like, I'm not trying to be around you. Because... I've always heard this, guys fall in love with the eyes, girls do the ears, right? Like, always. So, mm -hmm. you have to talk that talk, no matter what. So, it's like, you could have talked to a girl, got what you wanted from the girl, and she might even be mad after that, right? Like, she might not be, she might be cool, or whatever. But if you would have, but through all the talking that you did, was almost a waste of time, because if you would have probably been honest with her from the get-go, you would have probably gotten it. Or she probably just wouldn't have gave it to you just because she would have been on some mm -hmm. like, nah, I'm not trying to... You get me? Because they don't want to be perceived as just like, I'm just not this yeah. thing or a hoe or whatever. You get me? Like, what well, the world's... Perception. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So, I mean, I, I guess it depends to what degree you mean it. You get me? Because I, I, I get what you're saying. Like, the, the like, girls around you, like, it depends on the kind of truth that we're talking about. Like, has lies been told and then you tell the truth? No, I think even, like... You know, if you were to tell a girl, honestly, what well, your intent is, right? You say your intent is only to sleep her. Mm -hmm. um, she's definitely going to label you, right? She's not going to sure. She's not gonna say, okay, I appreciate your honesty. Yeah, no, she's going to get sure. insulted yeah. and walk away and be like, you think I'm that kind of girl? Well, because, because remember, young, girls, 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 are age, yeah. girls reflect yeah. what you said and make it what you see of them. Right? So if you say, like, you know, oh, this is my intent, she'll be like, so you think that I'm that kind of girl? Yeah. But girls are age. Yeah, no, no, let's, uh, because, yeah, we're talking about the grown women. Grown women, for the most part, understand what they want, they know how the concepts are. There's it. a thing, there's a thing. So, you know, a lot of girls our age, they like to they like to say things like, oh, I like older guys because they know what they want, blah, 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 right? Now, let's be honest, for the most part, older, I would consider older guys someone who's like 29, 30. That's an older guy. You get me? Like, that age or not. And in your 20s, you know, I don't yeah. really consider you so much of an older guy. So, you know, the girls that say things like that, I I tend to look at them a little bit funny because it's like what what does that mean like because you know what they want because yeah. most of the time if you're a very young girl dealing with the older guy he just wants to fuck you like let's be honest like that's all he wants to do like I highly doubt a grown man is trying to take like a college girl mm -hmm. or a little twenty two year old girl serious you get what I'm saying like a grown ass man like it's like yo he's already like ahead of mm -hmm. you know whatever so I feel like older women. You can tell them, oh look, this is my this is my intent, this is my thing. And, you know, you, you tend to have a more respectable conversation. You get me? Like a conversation where like you both could like have dialogue between each other, like, oh okay, like if that's what you want, look, you know, this is not what I'm about. I feel like a young girl will be like, alright, like, I'm not trying to fuck with you. Like, you know, it's, it's gonna be like a lot of disrespect yeah, in yeah. because probably because of what you said, like, oh do I look like that kind of girl? It's like like no, you look like that kind of girl, just you're just fine. That's what I want to do with you. I'm just letting you know. You get me? I don't know what kind of girl you come off as. You get me? But I guess that that's that's the perception that that you get as like just a guy. I feel like you know like we spoke about like every guy will go through that phase and it's like well he just wants to like be around girls. Like I don't think there's nothing wrong with that. You get me? Not everything is a fairy tale. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like I feel like like when we talk like people fall in love with that um idea that fairy tale. You know, like these feelings I get at mm. night, I want to cuddle with you. That's not an idea. That's all like, you know, yeah. feelings. You know, like, what's the real shit? You know what I'm saying? That, that, that's what I mean by like, 
like you know there's lacking depth in certain things you know what i mean mm -hmm. so I, I don't know like that whole perception thing though of of what it is to be like a fuck boy is almost caused because of the direct reaction of how women are mm -hmm. most of the time you get me like you said you can't really be honest with some girls like some girls are gonna take it as offense like yeah, oh my god yeah, you yeah. offended me what the fuck do i look like to you like being honest like you want honesty yeah because like a lot of people clean that right like, you know they want this honest whatever whatever mm -hmm. and it's like okay and then when you get it you know what i mean yeah. it's like a whole switch around so i don't know i guess that whole like the perception of those things are are things i guess people don't really like take the time to really think about like why i don't know why i'd be taking my time thinking about all these weird things like why is this a thing you know what i mean like i don't know <laughs> it's one of those things to me that's like a couple of